I'm going to show you how easy it is to put on Jamberry nails. So I mean, I just put on mine, and I used uh, this glimmer set right here, and then I just used an accent nail um, to do my hands. And this is an adult sheet, or a large hand sheet, and just goes to show that you don't use very many. You really can get two, uh, two to three manicures and two pedicures, two to three pedicures out of one sheet. But this is a small hand or youth sheet that Malia picked out. Smile! She lost her tooth. She let me yank it out of her face, right? <laughs> and she earned herself some jamberries because it was dangling like a gnarly tooth, huh? So to start, how we're going to do it is we're going to take an alcohol swab. We're going to clean the nail, make sure there's nothing on it. We're going to take a cuticle pusher. We're going to push back your nail. Make sure that cuticle's back. If your jamberries don't stick, most likely it's because your nail was had oils on it or you had cuticles. Even if you don't think you have cuticles, make sure you push it back. A lot of times there's an invisible cuticle there. Um, the clear backing makes it to where you can kind of size your nail to figure out. You want to make sure that the jamberry sticker doesn't overlap onto your skin because if it overlaps onto your skin, you're not going to get a good seal and then it would make it pop off. So air on the side of just a tiny bit small than a little bit too big. So this is the size that fits her. We went ahead and we cut the jamberry in half. And then we're going to turn on our mini heater. If you can get close, see how it's nice and straight. And then as we put it up to the heater, it curls. That shows it's ready to apply. We're going to stick it on her nail. You want to make sure you don't touch the part that's going to go on your fingernail with your fingers because they have oils and stuff on them. Just push middle pressure and then to the side so you don't get any bubbles. Um, and what makes a jamberry stick is heat and pressure. So and then you can use your stick too if you want and apply pressure. Rub it in good. Okay, stick it in front of the heater for just a couple seconds. Let me know if it gets too hot. One, two, three. Rub it down again. Okay, easy as that. And then sometimes I have a little ice bag to cool it down, or I have the girls put it on like the cold um, counter or something. At this point, you can either cut off the excess, but I actually like to just use. Um, the file that way it files directly exactly with your file and you want to do a straight you don't want to go at an angle you want to straight so we're gonna go ahead and file and pretty soon you'll see that it breaks away perfectly with the nail and then you just pick that part off and then heat it one more time rub 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 and cute as that you have a nail that's going to stay on for up to two weeks. My toes I've had on for almost two months and they still are going strong. Um, and you don't have to worry about drying time or anything like that. Um, it's just going to stay nice and pretty. And we're going to go ahead and do the rest of her nails in these mustache accent nails. And um, we'll show you a still picture once they're all done. Do you like your jamberries? Are you glad I yanked the tooth out of your head? <laughs> If you have any more questions, be sure to check out uh, Nail Art Tips or a thriftymom.com.